All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, call Loyam La Benoah Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, or Rakal Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for the elect, the Bayath, Dawada, the house of David. All right, so we're just going to go right into this word fame here. All right, because uh, the word fame is mentioned in the scriptures. And the word fame, right, which means this, a character attribute or attributed to someone, all right, a celebrity, which says celebrity or renown or fame or reputation or renown or rumor or rumor, report or reputation or public opinion. All right. Renowned or good reputation, but also ill fame, scandal, reproach. All right. To speak, to speak or tell or say. OK. So it says fame, it says the state of quality of being widely honored and, and acclaimed. So pretty much is um, a favorable public rec reputation. But during the time when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he was his reputation. All right. Was uh, was pretty of, of those that believed in him. You know, those that believed in him, because a lot of our people, which you can consider them two thirds back then didn't even believe in the Lord. They didn't believe in him at all. They had hatred for the Lord. The Pharisees described the, the Pharisees. They had hatred for him as well. Okay. So he was renowned by uh, or loved by the ones who believed in him, but hated by the ones that didn't really have that type of uh, love for him even though they seen all the miracles and things that he was doing they didn't they didn't believe that he was the messiah just like they don't believe us teaching that he's the messiah today you know that's that hatred for him so he was he had a reputation of doing of, of, of preaching the gospel which is the good news telling people to repent all right repent turn back okay because the kingdom of heaven is at hand but a lot of them just hated the Lord, man. They had that hatred for the Lord, okay? Just like they had, um, just like, I'm going to show you uh, numerous examples in the scriptures where uh, fame was uh, announced to, uh, to, uh, upon our people. Let's start here in Genesis 45 and 16. It says, and the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house saying, Joseph's brethren or brethren are come and it pleased Pharaoh well and his servants. So here we go. Numbers, numbers 14 and 15. It says, now if thou shalt kill all the people as one man, then, then the nations which heard of the fame of thee, uh, fame of thee will speak saying, and that's, and that's, hey, listen, we got fame over here as well. The Israelites have fame over here as well, but fame of, okay, well, a lot of two thirds of our people hate us. They can't stand what we're teaching. They're against what we're teaching. And then a lot of our people, the elect, so to speak, are the ones waking up to the truth. So it's like a balance of hatred and a balance. It's like a balance of hatred and actually love. All right. But more so when we get in the kingdom is going to be the fame of us is going to be at a high at a high level. All right. The fame of the Israelites is going to be at a high level. So what I mean by that is. Let's go to Deuteronomy uh, 4 real quick. Let me go to Deuteronomy 4 real quick, and I'm going to show you something. I think it's in Deuteronomy 4. 4 and 6. We'll start at 4 and 6. It says, uh, let's start there. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. It says, uh, actually, let's start at 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even the Lord my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Right. So our wisdom and our understanding, right, is that that gains fame. Okay? That gains fame. See, but a, a, a poor man is hated in this society, in this kingdom. All right, a poor man that speaks of wisdom knowledge and understanding and we're considered the poor men that speak of wisdom knowledge and understanding we speak of repentance for a kingdom to come just as Yahweh Shai spoke of when he was on the scene okay 
But it says, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear of all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great whom have the most, who have the heavenly father so nigh unto them as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that, the, that have the statutes and judgments so righteous as all the law, all this law, which I set before you on this day. Okay. It says, only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. It says, least I forget these things which thine eyes have seen and least they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them to thy sons and thy son's sons so pretty much all the nations all the other nations are going to look at us and go man these are wise and understanding people that's fame all right that's fame and we're going to have that in the kingdom man because we're going to follow henceforth and keep suit of the law statutes and commandments in the kingdom because it's going to be put in our inward parts okay all right you see so let's go back to that word fame Go back to that word fame real quick. It's a lot here, brothers. Let's go back to this word fame. And like I was saying, I was reading about certain men that had fame as well. All right. And this is Joshua. Joshua says, so the Lord was with Joshua and his fame was noised throughout all the country. Right. And Joshua took us into the promised land. Okay, Joshua took us into the promised land because Moses had ended up Moses ended up dying. Moses never made it into the promised land. So Joshua 9 and 9 it says, And they said unto him, From uh, from a very far country, thy servant thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord thy power, for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. First Kings four and thirty one. It says for he was wiser than all men, than Ethan, the Ezerite, the Ezerite, the Ezetha, and the Herman, and the Kokol, and the Kokol, all right, and the and the Darda, and the sons of Mahath, or Mahol, and his fame was in the nations round about. All right, it says, First Kings ten and one. It says, and when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon. Concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with the hard with hard questions, right? Because Solomon was a very, very wise man. Now, if you understand that Solomon, you know what? I'm not even going to get that deep, man. I'm not even going to go there, man, because it's going to go over a lot of people's heads. So I'm not even going to go there. Uh, First Kings 10 and 7, it says, how be it? I, how be it? I believed not the words until I came and my eyes had seen it and behold the half was not told me the wisdom and the prosperity exceedeth the fame which I heard first chronicles 14 and 17 David had fame all right David was a mighty uh, mighty warrior king all right okay he was our he was our king okay all right David was our king and he is our king okay because David is going to be back in the... David's going to be in the kingdom as well, man. All right? David's going to be in the kingdom as well. And he's going to be, you know, he's going to be right up there. It says, And the fame of David went out into all lands, and the Lord brought the fear of him upon all the nations. Right? Because all the nations were scared of David, man. It, they, the Lord brought fear upon all the nations because of David, man. Because David was a man of the Lord's heart. Okay? So they feared David, just like they. Hey, listen, they're gonna fear the. They're gonna fear the heavenly Father when all this. When all of this goes down, man. Okay, just like the Lord did in Egypt when He took Egypt down, all the other nations that were before this, man. Okay. Okay, He's gonna do it again, man, and His name is gonna be. And His name is gonna be, ring bells in the world, man. All right, and they're gonna be afraid of the heavenly Father, afraid of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, see, everything is just now, all right, well, nobody, you know, everybody's like, man, you know what, forget that, ain't nothing happening, ain't nothing going on, but guess what, when it all goes down, they're going to know the Heavenly Father's name, they're going to know 
Yahweh Shai's name. They're gonna know who Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is, man. Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. All right. Okay. First Chronicles twenty two and five. It says, and David said, Solomon, my son, is young and tender, and his house that is to be built for the Lord must be exceedingly magnified, and the fame and the glory throughout all countries. I will therefore now make uh, preparation for it. So David prepared abundantly uh, before his death. Second Chronicles nine and one it says, and when the queen of Sheba heard this, the heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon and heard questions at Jerusalem or uh, 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 Jerusalem. It says, with a very great company, and camels, and the bare spices, and gold, and abundance, and precious stones. And when she were come to Solomon, she commuted with him of all that was in his heart, in her heart, meaning her mind. It says, Second Chronicles 9 and 6 says, Howbeit I believed not the words until I come, and my eyes had seen it, and behold, the one half of the greatness of thy wisdom was not told me, for thou exceedest the fame that I've heard. Okay. All right. So let's jump down to here. Let's jump down to Matthew. This is Yahweh Shai. All right, Matthew 4 and 24 it says, And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people. Right, because the Lord was healing. The Lord was healing. The Lord has spiritual powers, man. All right. It's going to, hey, the Lord has spiritual powers. Okay. All right. It says, And they brought unto him all sick people. That were taken in diverse diseases and torments, and these were and these were possessed with devils, and those which had spirits on them. It says, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy. It says, and had healed them. Matthew nine and twenty six. And his fame hereof went abroad into all the land. Right, his fame went abroad to all the land. So you know what the Pharisees, the scribe, all of them was was pretty much they hated the Lord, man. All right, but there's a lot of our people who love the Lord, okay? And they was like, oh, were you, uh, were you the Messiah? What authority do you come in? Okay, matter of fact, let's, let's get that real quick before we go back. They said, they, they said to the Lord, what authority do you come in? Not that. Let's, let's go here. This is uh, this is one of my favorite scriptures, where the Pharisees uh, tried to uh, press Yahweh Shai. All right, <laughs> here it is, Matthew twenty-one. Yeah, here, here they they tried to press Yahweh Shai right here. Okay. All right, I'll start right here at 21. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Verily, which means truly, I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this, which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, uh, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whether, uh, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And when and when he was come into the temple, the chief priests, right, the chief priests, the, the Pharisees and the elders, right, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, by what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee, uh, thee this authority? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing. <laughs> Check this out. It says, which if ye tell me. I in like wise will tell you by what authority I do these things. It says the baptism of John. Whence was it? From heaven or men? And they reasoned with themselves, right? Because they knew if they were saying, if they knew if they said something off, that the Lord was going to cut them immediately. Because he knew that John was a man of the Lord. All right? Okay? And John, by the way, is Yahweh Shai's cousin. Okay? And it says, and they reason with themselves, saying, if, if they shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, why did you not believe him then? <laughs> hey, see, the Lord had a way of cutting them, man. It says he'll, he'll come back there. He'll come at them with a question. All right, and right. He'll make them think and see what they see, what the answer is, because he already because the Lord already had the answer. 
Okay, the Lord already had the answer. He just wanted to see if they was going to give the correct one. And then he says this, the Lord goes on to say this, he says, but if we shall, and then they say, actually, the, the uh, priests and them were saying this to themselves. He says, but if we shall say, oh, of men, uh, we fear the people for all hold John as a prophet. So they knew John was a prophet. It says, and they answered Yahweh Shai and said, we cannot tell, right? Because he, because they, they didn't want to say nothing off because the Lord was going to cut them. And he said unto them, neither I tell you, neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. So the Lord said, neither I tell you by what authority I do these things. Okay? Because they didn't want to answer him. He said, well, well, neither do I tell you. <laughs> that's the, hey, man, that's, a power, I, that's one of my favorite scriptures right there. So let's go back into the word fame. And let's go down here. All right, and I was I was just reading this right here, Matthew nine and twenty six. It says, "In the fame thereof went abroad in all the land." Matthew nine and thirty one. It says, "But they, when they were were departed, spread abroad his fame in all the country, in all that country." Matthew fourteen and one. It says, "At the time Herod the Turtek heard of the fame of Yahweh Shai." Okay, that's why they asked. Hey, that's why when the Lord was in front of uh uh. In front of in, in front of them, and they had asked him, right? They said, they said, are you? Uh, I think they pretty much they said, are you the Messiah? They pretty much said. And he said, uh, in a sense, and, and he said, thou sayest, right? He said, that's what they say about me. Okay, thou sayest. Okay. Uh, so this is Matt uh, Mark. 1 and 28 it says and immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region around about Galilee Luke 4 and 14 it says and Yahweh Shai returned in the power returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee and there went out fame of him throughout the region round about Luke 4 and 37 it says and the fame of him went out in every place of the country round about Luke 5 and 15 but so much the more went there a fame abroad of him and great multitudes came together to hear and to be uh, healed by him of their infirmities right so the lord had great fame healing spiritual powers man he was doing a lot of healing a lot of teaching a lot of teaching of the gospel all right to those that believed in him huh? and then there was a lot that there was a lot that hated the heaven uh, the lord man and the heavenly father okay but they didn't know by what authority that he came in. They didn't understand that he was the Messiah. They were still trying to sit there and wait on the Messiah, but they didn't know the scriptures is being fulfilled right in front of their face. That's why the Lord said, and the scriptures being fulfilled right in front of you. And the scriptures being fulfilled. All right. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see, I think it's in the book of Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. There's one in Isaiah. Oh. Matter of fact, let's just go get it in. Uh, All right, uh, let's see where it is. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, let's just read this right here. Matthew 2 and 23, it says, And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, and he should be called a Nazarene. All right. Okay. Let me see. Let me see where it is. Let me 
see if I can find it because I want to I want to read that scripture It is right here, Luke 4. Let's start here. Let's start up here, right here. Start at 16. It says, And he came to Nazareth, where he had had been brought up, and as his customs was, he went into the, the synagogue, uh, um, synagogue on the Sabbath day, right? And stood up for to read the synagogue. It says, And they and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Ezra, which is Isaiah. All right. And it says, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had appointed me to preach the gospel of the poor to the poor. Right. Talking about the Israelites. And he have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight of, to the blind. Right to set a set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister, <laughs> and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fasted on him, and he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness, and, and wondered at the glorious, the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth and they said is this not joseph's son and he said unto them ye will surely say un unto me this proverb physician heal thyself whithersoever we have heard done in capernaum do also here in thy country that's beautiful man Hey, so with that, brothers, I'm going to end it right there. I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, I will call Dash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone and well. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Bayath, Dawadah, the house of David. Shalom and the Baba Ball.